Hey, it's Cody, and we're on a mission to raise money for Chopper's Charity while riding motorcycles cross country on Route 66. Hey, what's up Cody's Roadies? It's day two of our trip. We are in Needles, California, and we are making our way to Flagstaff, Arizona, crossing state borders, woo woo. But first, we're gonna make a couple stops along the way. Let's get on the road and get this party started. Hey, it's Cody. You know me from Easy Riders Magazine and the TV show Mayans MC. But more than just a butt on TV, this butt is riding the Iron Pony all the way across Route 66 with my Iron Puppy Chopper. Together, we're on a mission to raise money for our favorite dog rescue while forging new friendships along the way. Get ready to shift gears and change lives. Today's episode is brought to you by Shark Squad Motorcycle Attorneys. They come to all of our events, they're super awesome, and they actually ride too, so they get it. And now for the answer to last week's Iron Pony Express question of the day. If you guess C, you are correct, 2,448 miles. And right out the gate, we are making history. It's my first time crossing state lines, California to Arizona. Okay, I've ridden other states before, but I've never been across state borders. So this is the first. <gasps> and the first thing we see is a cop. Dun, dun, dun. Kira was so freaked out, he kept checking his mirrors. Ah. Oh, but false alarm. <laughs> we made it to our first location without a hitch. Woohoo! We braved the heat and made it to Seligman, Arizona, where we are at the Roadkill Cafe, and it's time to go get some grub. I hope it's not really roadkill. Is it really roadkill? This is the face of a nervous vegetarian who's probably gonna order a kid's grilled cheese. Wow, that is an impressive amount of taxidermy. This place had cool vibes and there were lots of other riders, the food portions were huge, and our waitress Jamie was super sweet. Alrighty, we're at the Roadkill Cafe and I just had some delicious food and Jamie is going to tell us a little bit about where we're at. Okay, well the business was bought in 1983. It's still the original family that owns it and runs it. The building in 1947, it was originally a gas station and the bay doors from the garage are actually still above our building. And then all the animals that you see in through here are either the family's kills or they were gifted to the family for the business. Wow. Have you ever killed one? None that are in here, but yes, I've, I've gone on an elk hunt. I, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, so I've killed deer and all sorts of stuff. So you kill it, we grill it. You kill, the motto is you kill it, we grill it. So is that true? No. <laughs> Okay. I would totally be against health code regulations. Like, you can't do that. No, no, no. Okay, that's what I thought, but then I was like, I don't know. Maybe no, no, you no. guys know some no, people. No, no. Okay. <laughs> this is also a great stop because right outside are replicas of historic storefronts to commemorate the Route 66 Wild Wild West days. Whoa, look at this. 1860 Arizona Territorial Jail. At one time held such notorious outlaws like Seligman Sam, Three Finger Jack, James Younger, and many more. In 1866, four Indians escaped by tunneling from the small cell to the OK Saloon. But four days later, they were dead after a shootout with Marshal Carl Curry. Boop, 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 boop. We're a trap chopper! If there's anybody I'd want to be stuck in jail with, it's you, kid. Dang, the cowboy days here sounded crazy! Now we're off to Williams, Arizona, which I'm pretty excited about because last time we were here, we drove through Barazona, which is a wildlife park where you experience the animals in their natural habitat from the comfort of your personal vehicle. Now, we won't be going this trip because we're on motorcycles and don't want to get eaten by bears. Oh, look, here we are. Welcome to the gateway to the Grand Canyon. First stop, the train station. Choo choo. Yo, we just made it to Williams, Arizona. We're here at the Grand Canyon Railway. It started in 1901 and it runs people two and a half hours up to the Grand Canyon. It's really cool because I actually met my dad here like two and a half years ago and he did the whole train experience. They went up to see the Grand Canyon and had an absolute blast. There's a little Western show that happens over here with cowboys and a shootout. Pew, 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 
to do. There's a zip line, and then Williams also has a cute little strip with all sorts of Route 66 restaurant, bars, and souvenir shops that we're actually gonna go check out now. So let's look at some trains, and then let's go do that. Fun fact about the train, one of its two steam engines runs on vegetable oil. Oh, and look at Chopper. He's the train conductor to my heart. Being back here brought up a lot of memories of my dad. I was definitely a daddy's girl growing up, and even though we lost touch for some years, it's been really fun reconnecting. Turns out I get my adventurous and wild side from him. He even rode a motorcycle when he was younger. We headed to the world famous Sultana Bar, but they wouldn't let us film, so here's us shopping instead. <laughs> Let's go explore the strip. Williams was the last Route 66 town to be bypassed when Interstate 40 was completed around the town in 1984. Despite this setback, the town has become a very popular spot for tourists, like us, who enjoy the vintage and quirky feel of the architecture, cars, old cafes, and the good old, oh, look, Harley Davidson, <laughs> and the good old friendly hospitality that the Mother Road brings. And then we ran into our Aussie friends again. Remember this guy from Needles, California? There's just this special camaraderie you feel between people that are traveling the same route as you. Zoltar, should we ask him a question? How will the rest of our trip be? It will be awesome! And he was right, because then we met this cool guy. I just met Fritz, who is the store owner here. ABM, thank you for letting us park out front. That thank was so you. helpful. Oh, my pleasure, absolutely. <laughs> Parking this trailer is kind of tricky sometimes. Um, will you tell me a little bit about yourself and your store? Yes, yes, my name is Fritz. I just moved here from California, Orange County, and I opened up this little store here. And this store is a mixture of local products of people in town that bake bread, they make soaps, and it's like a, um, a consignment store. You bring your product in, and we help everyone. Everyone wins a little money. I love that. It sounds like you really value local. Yes, I, I certainly do. This town's so special. And the people here are just absolutely wonderful. When you pull in here, I feel like you can feel the magic. It's amazing. So this is the first room. Tom the Honey Guiders came in. This is uh, Laylee. Laylee makes jam. This is Pam, the hippie lady. And this is Libby. Libby makes soaps. Heather makes... Uh, mm, cinnamon rolls. rolls. I got CBD. This is Tom, the coffee guy. He helps the veterans. This is Sandra, the soap lady. Michael, he's a local artist in town. He takes pictures here. And so this is the art room. We're going to turn this room into a yoga room. I could definitely use a little stretching right now. Yeah. This is the special room. This Ooh. is the room. This is Guy, the bread guy. Oh, he amazing. makes fresh, fresh bread. Candy delivered her bread today and made pies. And she made all these little you know, these things to eat. This is Kristen, she does these beautiful mason jars. And LaDonna, she does the gluten-free. Wow, chocolate cupcakes. Oh yeah, Ugh. and these are local meals from Flagstaff. So everything in the store is from local vendors, and I'm gonna get a lot more people in here. Oh my gosh. Trust me, I'm gonna have this place packed. What an amazing guy. He's so passionate about community. He brought all of these cool local vendors together and created a space for people to just hang out. Look at Jigger, he's just vibing. Happening. I didn't see you there. I was playing some music. We're just chilling over here in Williams, Arizona, guys. <laughs> what an amazing place. I honestly could have stayed here all day. But we had to keep moving to our next destination. <gasps> Straight into the storm. Sounds like the perfect time for the Iron Pony Express question of the day. In 1984, what was the last town on Route 66 to be bypassed by the construction of I-40? Leave your answer in the comments below. And tune in next week for the answer. It's the last leg of the day and I am loving the smell of the pine forest and the rain. And I'm just feeling really excited to see an old friend. Hey, what's up? We just landed in Flagstaff, Arizona. We started our morning in Needles, California, crossed over the border. It was my first time going cross states. Woo woo. We're here visiting my friend Jermaine. He's letting us crash on his couch. He was actually my college professor and now we're lifelong friends. And look, there he is. Come give me a hug. Yeah. 
Hey! Hey! Oh my god! It's so good to see you! It's been forever! Forever! After giving him one of my magazines, <laughs> shameless plug, it was time to do some catching up on the couch. Okay, I have a funny question for you. So you were my professor in college. Right. Do you have any funny college stories of me? Because I feel like I was blacked out for a lot of my college. <laughs> Just kidding. We have so much history. I also, you got to meet Cheeto the first day that I adopted her, which is so special to me. Cheeto is our 14-year-old senior dog who sadly had to stay behind because she doesn't love being in the truck. So the name Cheeto, right? I remember this moment, right? Cheeto is outside. She's pooping all over the place, right? And, and the shit comes out. And you say, you go, it looks like a Cheeto. <laughs> and we're like, what? This is it. This is the name. This is what, this is it. I tell this story and nobody believes me, but it's actually true. That's it's where true. she got her name. No, it's absolutely true. Little Chocolate Cheetos. Yeah. Okay, so, so here you are. You're riding all across, you know, the, the Route 66. I mean, you're talking hours on this thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, like, does your ass go numb? Uh, you know, <laughs> how fatiguing is it? How do you handle this? What's the deal? It's definitely a lot. I feel like I'm all over the place with emotions. Like one minute I'm in gratitude, especially driving through Arizona. I feel like I saw things that I'd only ever seen in textbooks or like on the internet. And so I literally had goosebumps and then it would start to sprinkle a little bit and I would start to freak out. And then, you know, sometimes you'll get, like my right hand will go numb a little bit from the throttle and then I'll just have to bring it back to, to mentally saying, hey, it's okay, and kind of letting go. That's one of the things I love about riding motorcycles is it really keeps you in the moment. And I feel like so many other activities we do as humans, you don't have to be. When you're on the road, everything goes away, and it sounds so cliche because people are like, it's all just, just about freedom. Because also, like, yeah, does my body hurt? Of course my body hurts, you know? Like, we've ridden over 500 miles, but when I stop thinking about, like, oh, that knee that leads into my calf, that, that's not my calf, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> my hip bones, my <laughs> brain bone, I don't know the bones. <laughs> all the bones. I went to college for communications, right, okay? Right, right. So I know what what a lot do we know about, about bones? I don't know anything about bones either. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm inspired now. You know, I'm stuck here teaching classes and whatnots. I want to be on the road now. So I you're going to quit there. and That's get it. a motorcycle I'm out. and come join That's us. That's it. I am done. Cheers. <laughs> another one bites the dust. <laughs> That's a wrap on another amazing day on Route 66. It was full of historical sights, plenty of finger guns, and beautiful views. But above all else, we made some amazing friends along the way and saw some old ones too. Stay tuned for next week because you never know what's going to happen on Route 66. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you to everyone that made this episode possible. Today we rode 216 miles for a total of 503 miles and we raised $500 for a total of $1,293 for Chopper's Charity. Let's shift gears and change lives.